becoming an orphan at six years old, Harriet Jacobs became the slave of a mistress who later on willed her to her nephew, Dr. James Norcombe, who severely abused of her. After moving with him, Harriet had a relationship with a white man called Mr. Sims, who was their neighbor. She conceived two babies with him. After many years of slave work, Harriet decided to escape her tragical life when threatened by her master to send her and her children away to work hard labor. Even with bounty hunters searching for Harriet, she survived seven years hiding in her grandmother's house and finally achieved freedom in 1852. Years after being freed, Harriet wrote her autobiography anonymously where she changed the names of her characters so no one could link them with their true identity. So Harriet Jacob, what, can you tell our audience what slavery really is? Yes, in the story it's about enslaved black women who were repeatedly abused by their slave owners. So why don't you tell us about your story as a slave? As a slave? Yes, my mom died around 18, 19, when I was just 6 years old. I had to live with my mom's mistress, who taught me to read and write. But I actually learned I was a slave when I was around 12 years old. After my mom's mistress died, I had to stay with Dr. Flint, who sexually harassed me. I remember he, he said to me, I will sell your children if you refuse my sexual advances. From your opinion, what do you think about slave owners? They're cruel. How, how can you tell us your famous plan to hide from Mr. Flint? Well, one night I decided to escape, and I did. I kissed my children goodbye. So I left and hid in the home of a slave owner to keep an eye on my children. Then I hid in a crawl space above the shack in my grandmother's house. I lived there for seven years. And how did you make, did you find this game? How did you make it work? I managed to escape by going to Philadelphia in 1842. My children lived with my grandmother. After reaching North in 1842, I was taking my anti-slavery I was taking my anti-slavery friends from the Philadelphia the Village Committee. They, they helped me get to New York in September September 1845. I found work as a nurse and made a new life. I was able to see my daughter Louisa. Thank you. That's all the time we have for today. Harriet Jacobs' story was originally written to get her story told and in part to help the abolitionist movement of the time. When the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 was still in effect during this time, meaning that any runaway slave must be returned to their owners. This, the events of this book also helped highlight the impact of the Fugitive Slave Act and its effects on people in the North as well as in the South. Incidents that occurred in this book also occurred in Harry Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin, but involved in different themes. But both have the same purpose, which is to reveal the anti-slavery sentiment that was present during that time.